Well, 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 what do we have here? Hi guys, this is tablenews.com and it's been a while. So we have here the Apple iPad 2018, the 9.7-incher, you know, the one everybody has been talking about for a month or so. It was launched in June, it's for students, so students are lucky, they get it for 299 bucks. Lucky them. Normal people get it for 329 and it's stylus compatible. The stylus is sold separately for $99. We also have it, the Apple Pencil and this is an unboxing of the Apple iPad 2018 9.7 inch it's here I know it's been a long while since we posted anything on the YouTube channel we have not forgotten about you so we have it okay let's put this aside for now let's take on the device first impression regular iPad big bezels it's got a touch ID so it doesn't go to the notch at least not for now the familiar sound and the familiar plastic cover of the device it's still made of metal aluminum it's still pretty comfy and nice to the touch it's so cold in these warm summer days okay as i said before big bezels and the price tag is 329 dollars for regular people who are students are going to buy it for 299 bucks uh, other things we're mentioning well the phone comes in uh, Two or three versions so it should have the 32 gigabyte storage or 120 gigabyte storage there's also the 4g version or the wi-fi version so you get a bunch of those okay now it's an unboxing let's see what's inside the box here we have this little booklet with info welcome to the ipad i'm guessing there are also a few stickers here let's see everything info info stickers indeed and of course the charger which is quite hefty i actually had one for my own personal ipad mini and ipad mini 2 i have them both hefty charger i'm expecting some fast charge from it and finally the famous cable it's a lightning cable nothing out of the ordinary nothing has changed and it's quite a big box quite a tall box for uh, not a huge amount of items inside let's put this aside let's turn our attention to the tablet and fire it up for the first setup Apple iPad 2018 9.7 inch so affordable so crazily affordable now uh, this is the sixth generation iPad people call it iPad 6 some of them it's got the Apple A10 CPU which I'm familiar with because I have it on my own iPhone 7 you can also see it on the iPhone 7 plus and the tablet comes with 2 gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM 32 or 120 gigabytes of storage and the screen is a 9.7 inch with a 20 48 over 15 36 pixel resolution the tablet is available in silver gold or space gray this is the region we're at it's setting up the language it's taking a while for some reason so silver gold or space gray it's made of metal of course it measures 7.5 millimeters in thickness it's got touch id and uh, Quick start sounds like a good option or no let's actually set it up manually okay uh, I can set up later but I want to connect to the internet so excuse me for a bit here we go okay it's being activated so as I said before 7.5 millimeters in thickness which is actually excellent it's slimmer than a Galaxy S9 phone if you want a comparison and you also get a pretty solid set of cameras so there's an 8 megapixel back camera which has autofocus and uh, also panorama I'm going to set this up later okay so 8 megapixel at the back with HDR and f2.4 and full HD video and at the front 1.2 megapixels which are used for FaceTime. Don't use passcode. Not right now. Set up a new iPad. Uh, okay. Set up later. So far, so good. Agreeing to the terms. Enabling, sharing, sharing, continue, switch. And finally, here we are in the main menu with the famous dock and boy, it feels snappier than my own iPad mini, a lot snappier. People have been playing on it, PUBG, Asphalt 9 and so forth. Uh, I'm going to access tablenews.com to properly inaugurate it. So let's see how good we are in Google. 
Tablet News. We are first. Okay, so other features, 32.4 watt hour battery. It's a lithium polymer unit and uh, it's supposed to offer you about up to 10 hours of usage. And this device also has AR features for the classroom and uh, once again should run the newest games like a champ. Boy, it's been a while since I've played with an Apple device which has an actual pressable home button. Now, uh, other things we're mentioning here. Hmm, so what can we do? What can we do? I guess we can do the following thing. See if it works with the Apple Pencil and how we can get it to work. As far as I've heard, let's see it. You can buy it separately. Uh, okay. Where does it open from? Voila. This is it, the Apple Pencil. Steve Jobs was always against styli, but apparently the stylus has happened. We have it. My first impression is that it feels um, like a combo of a pen and a pencil. This cap here is a lightning port. You can use it to hook up to the device and also to juice it up. And uh, let's see if we can perform a good initial setup. So the Bluetooth is on and I'm going to insert this here. It's the first time I'm doing it, so be patient. Okay. Keeping it pressed. Ah, Bluetooth pairing request. Pair. No, I don't want this connection. Hopefully it's connected because I accepted the request. And now I want to try it out in notes. Fingers crossed, not now. And oh my God, you can actually do it. You can draw with the Apple Pencil and it's also pressure sensitive. So if you draw like this, it's lighter. If you draw like this, you can actually tell. So if I draw gently, if I press harder, you can tell the difference and I totally suck at this, so forget my style of drawing. Okay, you can do multiple things. You got a whole palette of options to choose from, including some colors and other crazy things. So you can totally express your creativity, however you have it, scribble, take notes, and interact with some apps using this beautiful, beautiful Apple Pencil, which I'm starting to actually enjoy. This is the Apple iPad 2018 9.7 inch, affordable, compatible with the Apple Pencil. We'll be back with a full review very soon at tabletnews.com. This is it from us. Bye-bye.